say the hardest thing in the world is raising a child. I think the second hardest thing is putting a comforter inside a duvet. <laughs> and uh, if you didn't laugh at that joke, it's probably because you don't know what a duvet is. <laughs> um, I'm not a parent, but I do have parental instincts sometimes. Like, remember when you were little and your mom was driving and she had to stop the car very abruptly so she'd put her arm out to protect you and keep you safe, you know? I did that today with Chinese food. <laughs> Apparently I was driving in England. That happened. It's like you, right? Um, <laughs> uh, my, uh, my grandma's really old. Um, I guess that's how grandmas work. You know, she's like um, 95. Whenever I talk to her, she tells me how all her friends are dying and she remains in perfect health. I figured it out, you guys. She's the murderer. <laughs> and uh, if you didn't laugh at that joke, uh, it's probably because you don't know what a duvet is. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.
Figaro, 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 Figaro. Una la volta, una la volta, one at a time, for heaven's sake.
struggles with insecurities, acceptance, and even self-esteem. You never felt good enough. You never felt pretty enough. But imagine God whispering in your ear, letting you know that everything that has happened is not Welcome, my friend, Sam. Yeah. So this is Sam Seller. Hello! Not me, then. Oh, my word, what the heck? Sam, here we are, America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent! Look, 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 who are these people? These are the judges. They're staring, it's rude! They're staring! <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, they're all staring at you. Really? Yeah, they're looking at your mouth. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, they're all looking to see if your mouth is moving. Really? Yes, but you can't tell that way because sometimes his mouth doesn't move. My mouth doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> and you wonder where the heck is the sound coming from? <laughs> So, um, tonight, tonight, <clears throat> tonight, tonight, would you not talk when I'm talking? Don't worry, you're not that good. <laughs> now, hey, what? look at the ladies, what? Mel! Hello! Heidi! Hi! Hello! Hello. <laughs> How about you two ladies coming back to my suitcase? That oh, is the luggage of love! You know, once you've had puppet, you never go back. <laughs> too far. I apologise. Time out. That was too much. Oi, what? You want to come back out? No, I'm going to move on. Please let me come back out, please. <laughs> That's great. <Yay! laughs> Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Okay. Okay. Look. Look. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Look. Look. Seriously, seriously, stop it. 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 <laughs> You're pathetic. You're pathetic. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Ooh. <laughs> I can't do that. No. <laughs> I'd like to put something out to you. I'm a grown man standing here on stage having a conversation with some luggage. <laughs> and you're going for it. <laughs> That's all from me. You've been absolutely lovely. Thank you. I'm the youngest in my family. I was always getting beaten up by the two oldest, mom and dad. And I used to get smacked around by these green berets that lived in our neighborhood. Some people call them Girl Scouts, whatever. 
The morning of my 16th birthday, my whole family tried to surprise me with a car, but they missed. And uh, every Saturday morning in our neighborhood, we would have this huge water balloon fight. And every Friday night, I'd put mine in the freezer, so I'd win. And after that, all the mothers in the neighborhood would take turns spanking me. It was awesome. Uh, in high school, I got caught shoplifting once from a car dealership. It was a Buick. And my father said to me through the bars of the jail cell, because he was in the next cell, he said, you're no son of mine, which hurt me, and it confused my mother. She was like, damn it, how did he know? I was a bad kid. I would sneak over to my neighbor's house late at night, and I would bounce up and down on their trampoline. That was their daughter's name, Arlene. And that's my time, everybody. Thank you very much. Wow. I would sacrifice anything, come what might, for the sake of having you near, in spite of the warning voice that comes in the night and repeats how it yells in my ear. Don't you know, you little fool, you never can win? Why not use your mentality? Get up, wake up to reality. And each time I do, just the thought of you Makes me stop just before I begin Because I've got you under my skin And I like you under my skin Please, keep in mind, what you're about to see is going to be done with a genuinely shuffled deck of cards. It's a story about season nine of America's Got Talent. With Howard Stern, our king of media, America's sweetheart, Heidi Klum, Mel B, our queen of pop, and of course our favorite, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Nick, I haven't forgotten about you. You really are a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Me, I'm 25 years old, and sad as it may sound... This whole magic thing has pretty much consumed my life all the time, like 24-7, since I was about four years old. See, people often ask, where do you see yourself in 10 years? But even just five years ago, I never guessed that I'd be here on season nine of America's Got Talent, hoping to hit the wow. jackpot in front of an amazing full house audience here at the Dolby Theater. Forget the address here, number 6801. Of course, I don't have a zero in a deck of cards, so sometimes I improvise. I never Whoa. thought I'd be here across from the great Howard Stern. Now, Howard, I gotta be honest. I know these cards. This king here doesn't really look like you. In fact, in my opinion, all of you judges look much better. One, two, in the flesh. <laughs> yup, even you, Howard. Oh, oh you my all, God. You all look great. You look great dressed to the nines, but don't get me wrong, I'm not just up here to be kissing your aces. Well, except for maybe you, Heidi. See, you do have undeniable six appeal. We all know that. But it's you, Mel B, that I've always had the hots for. You see, you were part of the Spice Girls. The only group in history to have four consecutive number one hits since the legendary Jax and Five.
Wait, what are you doing? What? Wait, Emma, do you know who that is? Yeah. You're going to do an impression of her? Yeah. All right. Emma Taylor.